yes sir the wait is over overwatch 2 is finally here now i've been playing since launch on tuesday and yes we did go through the era of ddos but we were lucky enough to get in some games even on day one this involved a little trickery like switching eu to american servers as well as closing out and reopening the launcher it just really seemed that the american servers were getting smashed by but as of about wednesday or thursday they did an update and so far the servers seem really stable now i'm gonna do my best to keep this video as short as possible here's a quick rundown what you can expect from overwatch 2 so far what i've experienced from overwatch is a very optimized very polished experience hardly any stutters at all very fluid gameplay and i'm gaming in 5k ultra wide that is 32 by 9 and we're getting 100 fps which is really solid my monitor is capped out at 120 hertz so at best we could only get 120 fps anyway but at 5k ultra wide the game looks amazing however we are limited to 21 by 9 i'm really hoping that we get full 32 by 9 ultra wide compatibility really soon next up no more 6v6 yes that's right overwatch is now 5v5 overall i think this makes the game more balanced and each kill is much more important biggest takeaways from 5v5 and how they've adjusted the combat no more holding just for ults that means for the most part nobody sitting back and just farming kills or farming damage in hopes of wiping the entire enemy team secondly there's no camping shields anymore shields have been reduced somewhat and more emphasis has been put on the amount of hp your character actually has we still have armor and bonus health and things like that but overall these changes have seemed to make the game a lot more fast paced and I love it. One really good takeaway and I've kind of always felt this way about Overwatch but for some reason at Overwatch 2 every single hero feels incredibly powerful. I think this might have to do with some of the changes they made to health and some of the balance changes they made per hero and overall the general passives that each class has as well. So what does 5v5 look like? Well we've got one tank, two damage and two supports although from my experience the DPS role is really interchangeable. If you're playing really good with a support or a tank, you can out DPS the dedicated DPS classes at times. Some situations this does seem unbalanced. However, when you think back to the fact that focus fire is really strong, there really isn't too many things I feel that are overpowered as of right now. We've got the entire cast of 32 Overwatch heroes that we know and love, but we've also got three new heroes for a grand total of 35 heroes. Oh my God. All of the old characters have new skins some of them have had their abilities replaced or completely removed doomfist being one of them as he now fits the tank's role these are the new heroes and their roles junker queen she's our new tank and she focuses on preventing healing for all enemy combatants really powerful for when your team has those synergy moments and when you really need to finish off some of those powerful enemies sojourn she's our new dps with a rapid fire rail gun when you get enough hits with it it charges up for a powerful rail beam burst that could be used as a sniper in some situations it's very powerful at taking out either low health enemies or for one-shotting those powerful heroes that only have 200 out of 200 health Kiriko, she's our new healer and she has some really useful utilities. She does damage with her kunai and let me tell you these kunai headshots are absolutely lethal if you're at 50% health or lower. You better watch out when you see shawty in the red kimono. My next videos will be breakdowns on each one of these new heroes so make sure you stay tuned. We have a new game mode called push it's a ton of fun which is a game of inches or meters in this case where two teams fight over control of a robot which oftentimes leads to some very tense overtime battles we've also got new maps new queen street circuit royale coliseo midtown paraiso and finally esperanza i've always loved that about overwatch that it's had an international feel and these new maps are nothing short of amazing i'm at a point now to where i really love all of the maps in the game and i think the design is phenomenal really cool looking environments and overall pretty well balanced as well finally one of the most major changes in overwatch 2 is the fact that every class now has a passive for tanks that passive is 30 percent reduced knockback from all cc as well as reduced ultimate charge when being damaged so basically they give less charge for your ultimate when you damage the tank for the dps role the new passive is for every elimination you get your movement speed and your reload speed 
are increased by 25% for 2.5 seconds. And what's really big is that every elimination you get refreshes this cooldown. It never stacks, so if you have this passive active for 2.5 seconds, it will only be reactivated once you get an elimination after the 2.5 seconds has passed. It's actually really good. 2.5 seconds might seem like a small window, but it's actually really powerful, especially with the fact that it can refresh. 25% is a difference that you can feel. Finally, for the new passive for our support roles, every support role, so long as they're out of combat for 1.5 seconds, will regenerate 15 health every second. This is really big for our supports because there are times where as a support, you just won't get any heals because you're so focused on keeping your tank alive. All you have to do is step away from the battle for 1.5 seconds and you're getting healed. Overall, I'm having a blast with Overwatch 2. And although we did have some launch issues, you can't fault them too much because it was the result of a DDoS attack. Hackers run the world, unfortunately. But as it currently stands, the servers do seem to be stable. I'm absolutely looking forward to the new heroes that we get, the new maps. It really seems that the roadmap for this game is really well laid out. I know some may be bummed out that PvE isn't ready at launch. However, from the roadmap, we're looking like we'll get it early 2023. Salute to all my Overwatch fans out there. Hope you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for more Overwatch breakdowns, and I'll see you on the battlefield.